My people, my people, we're walking together as a family. Anyway, my people, what you doing, people? What you doing? I want you to know what you're doing, okay? You doing good? You okay? Like, Because I'm good. I'm happy when I talk to you guys, you know? And I'm going to talk to you about what I'm going to talk to you about, okay? But in the meantime, you already know what I'm going to say, right? Subscribe, subscribe, people. Subscribe. I need your help here please my family thank you now let me talk about what i'm gonna talk about i'm gonna talk about none other than guess what you guess it yes i'm here to talk about miss deb brad pitt and angelina jolie you know it's a sad situation between them but anyway angelina jolie like she has a new movie out right now and then you know you, when you got a new movie you have to go on this uh prom promotional tour like kind of a like promotional run promote the movie to the media she said now since she's like uh broke up with uh brad pitt they, they she divorced brad pitt she's have a long list of uh deal breakers that she have now you know she's like so uh, she see things differently now because uh of the breakup uh that she went through the divorce that they're still going through actually that divorce will never ever end i don't think so i don't think it will ever be finalized but anyway she said now she has long list of deal breakers you know so if you want to date her just so you know there's like a long list of things that she's expecting from the from the guys that she's going to be uh encountering or dating anyway i don't know what you guys think you think um like deal breakers and i uh, and no no in a relationship or you just think people should let their guards down and just date without like the the list of deal breakers of the listing they want or don't want and stuff like that do you think it ruins the mode of relationship or it ruins the mode of getting to know somebody what do you guys think because i think deal breakers everybody got to uh, have deal breakers to be honest with you but to be honest with you i don't think they're like good for relationships because relationships don't last anyway correct me if i'm wrong here like they don't like nowadays they just don't last you know doesn't matter if you have a deal breakers or don't have deal breakers it's the same thing people are breaking up left right and center you know nothing lasts forever i'm sorry people we're living in a world of reality where nothing lasts you get to know somebody it's good it's okay if it works out and it's okay to if it doesn't work out nobody will be together forever i mean maybe the one percent of the um, uh, population they will be together uh for a long long time but mostly nothing lasts forever most of the time it just doesn't work out and it, like i said it's okay people break up all the time people it's just you know you, i don't i think it maybe it's because it's a different era things are not like what they used to be like uh years ago where like like people like lasted long time in a like a relationship nowadays it's just i don't know people just don't last and i'm telling you don't ever get uh, married or get in a relationship. If you don't believe me, like I said, you can do it yourself and come back and tell me what your experience, okay? If you, you think you're going to last forever with your partner, your a significant other, let me know. Anyway, uh, I want you to subscribe to this channel. I want you to share these videos and all of my videos. Go watch all of my videos and uh, subscribe, please. I uh, will be grateful if you do that for me, guys. Uh, like I always say, you're my family. I don't see you as like um, uh, my fans or anything like that. I'm not saying I have fans. I'm just saying like I just see you guys as my family. So I want you guys to keep subscribing to this channel and let's go together as a family. In the meantime, I'm out. Yes.